an art historian and a researcher currently pursuing a PhD at the University of Plymouth and Law. Gabriela Galano. I'm going to focus on the new relation generated uh, by electronic information between the virtual archive, uh, the web in a broad sense of certain, the web in a broad sense of uh, certain specialized archives in particular, and its reference, the material reality in general, uh, museums, internal practices, artworks uh, in particular. Um, so what non might conceived as a shift from telecommunication network to a multi-level digital communication network is now taking place at a highly accelerated pace with vast unexpected consequences and possibilities for the artistic field. And of course, not only from it, uh, for it. From a more general perspective, it has also a close relation to what Manuel Castells defined as the space of flows and real virtuality. The space of flows is the abstraction of time and space and their dynamic interactions within the digital age society. Castells developed this idea to reconceptualize new forms of special arrangements under the new technological paradigm, a new type of space that allows distant, synchronous, real-time interaction. So the space of flows can be experienced right now, a multi-level electronic communication network in which anyone can access from home, not just of a website, but also the 3D photographic representation of a certain place, the street view of her or his house, of a friend's house, of a possible place to rent or of a museum. This access is also making the distance between remote places seem inexistent in a certain way. This concept opens several questions. For example, how is this representation presented? How is this possibility of accessing a physically distant, distant place in all its details without actually being physically there, affecting the ways in which this space is perceived? So the electronic elaboration of the representation of information suggests following this new path not only to deal with massive amounts of data, but also to better penetrate the domain of knowledge that every person should possess. Moreover, the, form, the forms this representation of information takes are closely related to the ways in which its perception is structured and shaped. Therefore, the relationship between information, its representation and reference, or in other words, the relation between reality and the conceptual construction of reality, has to be resolved. So the electronic representation of information refers to which forms, what calls the museum or the gallery or the artist's website are using to achieve and show the artworks or artistic events in the case of performances, installations, etc., or exhibition records. In fact, this representation does not need to be in the place of a physical existing entity, and that is why the reference is only possible. The author of Leo, this digitalization is changing the status of the digital, digitalized words at the same time that influences our perception of them. In the same way, language and metaphors give our reality or structure our perception of the world. Then, the, as a text influences our perception of material reality, and the ambiguous nature of language has to be taken into account in this respect. Um, so we don't, um, I'm sorry, following uh, Levi Strauss' uh, statement that the inadequacy between the signifier and the signifier is the cause of every mythic and aesthetic invention that we are aiming to cover this flaw or this unfitness, it is possible to think about the inadequacy between the virtual archive and its possible reference in these terms. It is necessary to try to understand what is happening with this non fit or overspill, and accordingly, what is happening in the gap in the inadequacy between the virtual archive and the physical museum. This overspill can be considered the intrinsic ambiguity of symbolic production. Moreover, the very well known impossibility to translate symbolic productions is what generates the change of the ontological status of the digitized world. 
saying his article, the archive that we see with the museums, how to foster advances, the hypothesis that photographic reproduction allowed a new dialectics of scene, represented by the positions of Walter Benjamin, Benjamin namely that photographic reproduction strips out of context and aura, and therefore its cult value and exhibition value are lost forever. In contrast, Andrew Mappo claimed that the museum warranties artist art and photographic reproductions offers the means to put together the bits and pieces into the meta-traditions of 